Welcome to our video series on maintenance and reliability. I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today, we're going to explore how a simple tool like a barcode can revolutionize your inventory management. We'll be discussing if you need a barcode inventory system and the key indicators to consider. We'll also delve into the different types of barcodes out there. So if you're part of a maintenance or operations team and want to learn how to make your inventory management quicker and easier, you're in the right place. Imagine this, in the time it takes for an average person to manually type just a few letters or numbers, you could scan a single barcode containing numerous characters all at once. Sounds efficient, right? That's because it is. Barcoding your inventory can make inventory management much quicker and easier. But you might be wondering, do I really need a barcode inventory system? Well, implementing a barcode system does take time, so let's figure out if you need one. Here are three key indicators that you might benefit from using barcodes. First up, if you warehouse your own inventory. Keeping track of thousands of inventory items in a warehouse can be a real challenge if you don't have an easy to use system. A barcode system is a must have in this case. Secondly, if your vendors or retailers require barcodes. If your inventory is sent to vendors or retailers, they might require barcodes for the items they purchase from you. And lastly, if you're maintaining barcoding inventory. Now, not all inventory is meant to be sent off to vendors or stores. Some items, like those kept for maintenance, repairs, and operations, are kept exclusively in-house. In this case, your inventory management will be much easier and more precise if you use barcodes to track everything. That way, you don't risk suddenly running out of a spare part you need. Now, let's delve into the different types of barcodes and their standards. Barcode types can be categorized into three main groups, numeric, alphanumeric, and two-dimensional. The first two types, numeric and alphanumeric, are considered one-dimensional. These include only numbers or a combination of letters and numbers, as well as bars of varying widths. The last type, two-dimensional, is most commonly seen as a QR code. You've probably seen these around. They're a square or rectangular shape showing a combination of short lines and dots. So there you have it. We've covered whether you need a barcode system and the different types of barcodes out there. With this knowledge, you're well on your way to making inventory management quicker and easier. Thank you for watching our video on barcode inventory systems. We've explored the need for such a system and the different types of barcodes. Remember, a barcode system can make your inventory management quicker and easier. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. For more information, visit our website at upkeep.com. We have a wealth of resources to help maintenance and reliability teams be more successful.